With Wayne Robinson now going to the Guilford County Sports Hall of Fame. Wayne, this has to be a great honor for you, although you've uh, been in many different situations like this before, going to Greensboro Day School, being a trendsetter there, going on to Virginia Tech, got drafted by the Lakers and ended up with the Pistons and later played overseas. Kind of give us your impressions about the Guilford County Sports Hall of Fame, what this means to you to be among the inductees here in 2012. I think it's a tremendous honor when you look at all of the fine athletes that have come through and have been recently inducted back since 19, uh, since 2005. Uh, it looks t for me to be uh, just a tremendous honor, and I'm looking forward to being a part of the class of 2012. And you were at Greensboro Day back in the day when Greensboro Day was not an athletic power to any stretch of the imagination. A lot of changes going on. You entered Greensboro Day back when you were in high school. That's right. You know, during that period of time, it was a, a lot of racial unrest and a lot of uh, just imbalance in the city of Greensboro as it relates to the educational uh, platform because of the change in, in the environment. And, and my parents really wanted me to uh, move into an environment that was really conducive for strong academic uh, preparation. And so we were very thankful, very blessed to be a part of the Greensboro Day School community. I was there for four years, uh, enjoyed my experience, was able to graduate and to go on and do bigger and better things at Virginia Tech. So you went to Virginia Tech. How do you get noticed by Virginia Tech with Greensboro Day being such a young basketball school at that time? Well, yeah, I would, all of the credit goes to a man by the name of Lynn Edwards, who was the first athletic director at Greensboro Day School. Uh, if it were not for him, I would not have been there. And, and certainly through his efforts, we were able to, to do extremely well academically as well as athletically. He was able to go out and to send out a number of letters to schools throughout the United States. I was recruited by more than 20 different schools up and down the East Coast, and Virginia Tech seemed to be the best fit for me, and so I was glad to be a part of Hokie Nation. And I listened to your games back when I was a younger guy in college up in Virginia. I used to check you guys out quite a bit. You had a successful career there, about 15 points a game, about 13 rebounds a game, and you led them to the Metro Championship back in the day, back in the days the Metro Conference. That's right. The Metro Conference Championship is the only conference championship that Virginia Tech has, has won, and so we're very proud of that accomplishment. 1979 was a great year for us. Uh, we were ranked in the top 20 in the United States, and Coach Charlie Moyer and the rest of his staff did a, a wonderful job of, of getting us to execute and to play uh, the Hokie kind of basketball that uh, many people remember very well, and we're just glad to be a part of that legacy, and, and I look forward each and every time I go back to Tech to talk to some of my old teammates and to cheer on the teams as they compete today. And uh, you were with the Metro Conference then, but you got inducted into the ACC, I think, Hall of Champions a couple of years ago since Virginia Tech later made that move to the Atlantic Coast Conference. That's right. It was a tremendous surprise for me. I was very, very grateful to be a part of a tremendous class that was inducted in 2011. And even though we weren't in the ACC at that time, it's just, it just speaks volumes to the ACC and its recognition of Virginia Tech. Uh, even though we weren't there then, but we are now, and we're proud to be a part of the Atlantic Coast Conference. There's very good basketball history, Virginia Tech. Until you look back at yourself, Bembo Coles, Alan Bristow, Dale Curry. Quite a few men have come through that uh, university over the years. And it's been a good basketball school, good basketball history. Sometimes it gets overshadowed some other football power. But again, Virginia Tech has played some good basketball over the years, especially back when you were there. That's right. And we certainly see that there's going to be a bright future for Virginia Tech in the coming years. Uh, we have a long legacy of, of strong basketball teams. And we're hoping that we can continue to recruit strong student athletes in the, in the, in the weeks and months and years to come. And and you'll look and see that Virginia Tech will be a strong uh, basketball powerhouse in the ACC. Wayne Robinson with us going to the Guilford County Sports Hall of Fame. You left Virginia Tech and you were drafted by the Lakers but ended up with the Pistons. How did that work out that way? Well, it was a surprise, certainly being drafted by the Lakers, having come off a 1979 championship and then being traded to Detroit at that time. It was a surprise for me as a young athlete, but I was very, very excited about the opportunity. I had the opportunity to play 19 minutes a game. I averaged just under eight points a game and about four rebounds, so I was able to make my presence known, and it was a tremendous experience for me. How do you make the transition? You go from the NBA to the European leagues. You go overseas and play and have a, a very good career there. And that's sometimes a transition players make later in their career, but you made that kind of move early in your career. During that time, a number of ex-NBA players were going to Europe. That was really the beginning stages of a lot of former uh, NBA players going and competing. And, and certainly during that time, uh, the Italian Basketball League was very competitive. Salaries were extremely attractive. We were able to go over and make a 
a tremendous mark on European basketball, and we see the results today by virtue of so many European players coming over and competing in the NBA. Do they have the outside shooters in uh, the European ball back in that day? It seems like that's one of their major assets these days, the ability they had to go back behind the three-point line and make the long shots. Was well, that type of basketball back then? Without question. One thing they could do is shoot. They didn't play a lot of defense, but they were able to shoot the basketball extremely well. And as a result of that, they began to really learn more about how the game is played at the, at the highest level. And we see the results by having so many outstanding European players coming over and competing today. Did you any of that to chicken wire and those barricades and things we hear Gene Banks and guys talk about from their days in the foreign league? Sometimes it got kind of vicious over there among the crowd. No question. They took athletics very seriously. Of course, soccer is the primary uh, sport of choice over there, but basketball has really grown to be a very, very attractive sport for so many young people as well as their uh, their very avid fans. And uh, yeah, we did experience a lot of uh, in interesting situations, and certainly it was, gave us great memories of what it was like to play in Europe. How about for Wayne Robinson now going to the Guilford County Sports Hall of Fame? Life after the NBA, the European leagues, Virginia Tech and Greensboro Day. Talk about life after basketball in some ways for you. Well, well certainly having the opportunity to transition from athletics into a career path, which would provide uh, with me with uh, ample support for my family was extremely important. Uh, today, I'm currently uh, a senior pastor of a church here located in downtown Greensboro, the New Millennium Christian Center. Uh, we're very excited about our non-denominational church. But I also work as a talent and recruiting manager for the New Four Corporation, which is based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, I'm excited to continue to help that company to recruit outstanding engineers across the United States. It gives me a chance to continue to work with young people in a college setting to help them to navigate their career path. Hopefully, they'll find outstanding jobs and at the same time contribute to uh, the Greensboro community as well. In closing, Wayne Robinson with us for the Guilford County Sports Hall of Fame, class of 2012. Who made the biggest impression on your life as far as the sport of basketball that helped get you probably in so many ways where you are today? No question. My father, who's still living, Charles Robinson, was very influential in my life and very thankful for all of his input, all of his support and mentorship. And certainly as we move forward in the days and weeks and months to come, I think that we'll find out that through his deposit made in me that I'll be able to affect the lives of others. Wayne, good job on your part. Congratulations on going to the Hall of Fame and look forward to seeing the uh, mark you'll leave the rest of your time here with us. Thank you very much.